Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Governor Yeson Wike joins NSAS campaign over the alleged shooting of a 22 years old musician in Elelewa in River State. 22-year-old Chibike Daniel Dominic allegedly shot to death by SAS officials in Port Harcourt for not opening his phone or unlocking his phone. The youth president of LL1, who confirmed the shooting, said the incident happened last Thursday around Eliminigwe Estate, the boundary between Akwajo and LL1. The governor of River State, Governor Wiki tweeted saying, the brutal killing of a young vibrant man in Port Harcourt by men of the SAS unit of the at police NG is unacceptable. We have and will continue to clamor for the reformation or outright the solution of SAS because they have become a menace to the society. Hashtag end SAS. Governor Yeson Wike has, has joined in condemning the alleged killing of Chibike Daniel Dominic in Elelewa Axis of Obiapo local government area of River State by police officers suspected to be SAS officials. The governor in his official tweet said, I urge the police authority in the state to open an immediate investigation into the incident and prosecute any officer found culpable. Human rights defenders have also condemned the killing of innocent persons by SARS operatives. The Secretary of Center for Basic Rights Foundation, Prince Wiro, lamented the senseless killings and other human rights abuses by security operatives in the state. He said, they have continued because Rivers State government, in my own view, has kept quiet for too long. I believe that the statement by the governor will make the officers understand that there is an end to every madness. Well, it is what it is, guys. This is really, really sad and unfortunate that um, the issue of uh, NSAS will be trending again in this country. The Inspector General of Police needs to do the needful and ensure that uh, the lives of uh, citizens of this country uh, matters. The lives of the citizens of this country are, um, uh, are protected, as it were, as it is enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. SAS should not be threatening people up and down, and they shouldn't be seen demanding for people to unlock their phones what are they looking for in people's phones is the question so it is really really sad and unfortunate and i stand to be corrected this should not be allowed to happen but let's take a few uh other uh, reaction let's hear what people are saying uh, uh, this person anonymous says we can please meet with the inspector general of police to redeploy reverse sas to various police divisions, formations, and other operational units of the force. If that is not done, these people's excesses would not be checked. So the issue of NSAS, uh, the issue of NSAS is coming up again, and this time around, River State is in the spotlight. This cannot be allowed to continue. The people. Or the SAS operatives needs to know and understand that their job, you know, does not involve searching people's phones. If you suspect anybody, uh, whatever, what you can do is, you know, arrest the person, take the person to the police, hand them over for prosecution. 
then the investigations can be conducted. But outrightly taking uh, the law into your hands or judging someone as uh, a Yahoo person or whatever it is and um, you know shooting the person is outrightly against the law. And in this particular regard, we believe and we hope that the law will take its course because this is really, really sad and unfortunate. It shouldn't be happening. The Inspector General of Police and all the uh, stakeholders involved needs to make a clear statement and let the operatives of this uh, organization, SARS, as it were, and the Nigerian police know that they do not have a right to take a life of anybody except it is in an uh, exchange rate of self-defense or in the case of armed robbery, as it were. So this is not allowed. Now that the governor of River State has spoken out and joined the campaign of NSAS, let's hope that um, uh, it will yield a positive result and um, this issue will be dealt with. The Inspector General of Police and all other stakeholders definitely should and will, you know, do the needful, take the right decision and address this menace as it is, as it has affected this uh, society, uh, affected the country in a bad light and has put the country in a bad light. So it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? If we begin to uh, take statistics of the number of lives that uh, these guys have actually taken in the country, all across the country, you know, it's going to be much. It's going to be a huge number, you know. Putting all together, Lagos State, Imo State, uh, River State, Oku State, and other places, you know. These are the activities of the men of the Nigerian police who ought to protect people, but are now taking uh, taking the lives of the people they ought to protect, would not uh, stand. Let's not forget that uh, Segaling Shego Awosoya, who had been in the forefront of uh, this and uh, the advocacy for NSAS, you know, should be uh, supported by all well meaning Nigerians, a rugged man, and some other persons who have actually been working hand in hand with uh, Segaling and all other uh, institutions, as it were, to address this menace, should be uh, given the needed assistance support to ensure that. Justice is saved when it comes to the issue of uh, police brutality and intimidation and killing of uh, innocent citizens by these uh, men of the police force who have been who have decided to take laws into their hands. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? It is a good thing, or it is a good thing rather, that the governor of River State has joined the campaign to end SARS. We hope that the Nigerian police will pay attention, will listen, and uh, will do the needful, consider all that has been said, and will also uh, give justice to Chibuike Daniel Dominic, 22-year-old man who is, an, who, is an, who is a musician in River State and uh, was uh, uh, brutally killed by the men of the SARS of the Nigerian police as it is so it is sad and unfortunate this is a very uh sad incident that will throw the families and the people of river state into a huge mourning and it is a huge loss to the country at large as um the a young man just who is in his prime or who is stepping into his prime at the, just at the age of 22 uh was killed by the men of the nigerian police of the sars division well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Kindly drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.